hello welcome to p academy online learning so this is a course for artificial intelligence and how let's see how the course is structured the course begins with the first video about the introduction to artificial intelligence system this is a basic overview of what artificial intelligence in general is and what are the different elements of artificial intelligence second is intelligence and intelligent system so what constitute the concept of intelligence and how are the intelligent systems related or created from the concept of intelligence then there is the different research areas of ai domain and then we will go to search algorithm search algorithm enable the artificially intelligent system to search within the database that's how the artificial intelligence system searches to retrieve information from the database then there is a fuzzy logic system the fuzzy logic system is a artificial intelligence system which works based on the fuzzy logic then there is natural language processing natural language processing is a video about how natural language is used to interact between artificially intelligent system and humans natural language is written or spoken language then there is expert system expert system are artificially intelligent system which process expert knowledge in a specific domain area and then there is robotics robotics is a actual implementation of artificially intelligent system in the form of robots robots are artificially intelligent entities which use the concept of an artificially intelligent system to perform various functions then there are neural networks neural networks are self learning artificially intelligent systems which are a mimic of how the neural networks in human brain works so that's all uh, uh, welcome to artificial intelligence introduction this is the first video in the series artificial intelligence our first topic is knowing what is ai the field artificial intelligence or ai attempts to understand intelligent entities ai strives to build intelligent entities as well as understand them these are computers with human level intelligence so building computers with human level intelligence understanding those computers and knowing how they work is called ai it was formally initiated in 1956 though much work in AI was only possible since the beginning of 1990s with the invention of modern computer and software systems. The AI takeoff. The first computer invention happened in 1950s. This opened the idea of AI, the intelligent computers, though much success has been achieved only recently. In 1956, John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence. He demonstrated the first running AI program at Carnegie Mellon University. So, the with the invention of computers, this gave the possibility of the use of artificial intelligence to build intelligent computers. Though much success has been achieved only recently. One of the benchmark in a system which is able to demonstrate artificial intelligence is turing test the allen turing in 1950 defined intelligent behavior as the ability to achieve human level performance in all cognitive tasks sufficient to fool an interrogator roughly speaking the test he proposed is that the computer should be interrogated by a human via a teletype and passes test if the interrogator cannot tell if there is a computer or a human at the other end so basically an interrogation of a computer system is done by a human via teletype and if the ai system passes then the interrogator should not be able to distinguish whether the answer has been given by a computer or a human so that was the turing test which defined the benchmark for capabilities of an ai system computer as agent to demonstrate intelligence for artificial intelligence to succeed we needed two things one was intelligence and the other was an artifact the computer has been unanimously acclaimed as the artifact with the best chance of demonstrating intelligence you needed a means an object which could demonstrate intelligence and that demonstration was possible by an entity computer which was invented in 1950s and this led to the possibility of ai systems 
and the study in the AI field. The first operational modern computer was a Health Robinson 10 built in 1940 by Alan Turing's team for the single purpose of deciphering German messages. So that was how you need computer as an agent to demonstrate intelligence. What are the goals of AI? The goals are to create expert systems, the systems which exhibit intelligent behaviors, the systems which can learn, the systems which can demonstrate what they have learned, the systems which can explain what they have learned, and the systems based on this knowledge can give advice to the users based on the inputs. So one of the goal is to create expert systems. The other goal is to implement human intelligence in machines. It's creating systems that can understand, that can think, that can learn and behave like humans. So that is the goals of AI. Next is what contributes to AI. Artificial intelligence is a science and technology based on disciplines such as computer science, biology, psychology, linguistics, mathematics and engineering. So if you are thinking that artificial intelligence is only computer science, you are wrong. It's about computer science, it's about biology, it's about psychology, it's about linguistics and all those things that comes together to build something that's like humans. A major thrust of AI is in development of computer function associated with human intelligence such as reasoning, ability to learn, ability to give a to solve a problem given so these are the major things that contributes to AI there are different kinds of AI systems which can be built the first kind of system is a strong AI the work is aimed at genuinely simulating human reasoning trends to be called strong AI in that any result can be used to not only build systems that think but also explain how humans think genuine models of strong AI or systems that are actual simulation of human condition have not yet been built so strong AI consists is deals with building systems that can completely act like humans that can replace human thinking that can in any given s situation behave act like human beings next is weak ai the work in the second school of thought aimed at just getting systems to work is usually called weak ai in that while we might be able to build systems that can behave like humans the result tell, tells us nothing about how humans think one of the prime example of this was IBM's Deep Blue, a system that was a master chess player but certainly did not play in the same way that humans do and told us very little about congestion in general. Weak AI is building systems that can act like humans on a given function like a chess player but they don't give you much understanding about the whole human brain, how human responds to each and every thought or input. But it can do a certain function like playing a chess very well. Everything in between. Most of the artificial intelligence systems we see in today's world lie in the f lie in everything in between. Most development happening in this area. The work uses human reasoning as a guide, but it's not driven. The important takeaway is that in order for a system to be AI. It doesn't have to be smart in the same way that people are. It just needs to be smart. The systems that lie in the everything in between category, they use human reasoning as a guide. They need to be guide, guided by humans to do certain functions which can be done by humans. So that's everything in between systems. The examples of AI systems, games like chess, poker, which acts like humans, which can respond like humans, in playing a particular game are examples of AI. Another example is natural language processing by computer, vision systems, systems that understand by visual input, systems that can understand by images and they can derive certain outcomes based on the images like a spy aeroplane, a forensic phase detection system which can identify criminals or which can identify certain persons based on the visual inputs given to it from a database, speech recognition, handwriting recognition, intelligent robots, robots which can do certain functions done by humans. These are examples of AI systems. That's all for the introduction in artificial intelligence. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like and comment. Also watch other videos to know more about artificial intelligence.